My interest in new media lay at the crossroads where former technologies that are now considered dead or at least antiquated are being resurrected through the web and other forms of new media. Marshall McLuhan says, no medium has its meaning or existence alone, but only in constant interplay with other media. So I'm interested in the ways that older mediums are being resurrected through the web. And so rather than thinking of new media as the death of some older media, I'm interested in the ways that it's functioning to keep previous generations alive. Since my interest in these older technologies was actually cultivated through the web, I'm going to use this time to direct you to a couple of websites that have just proven to be really great resources for me when learning about technologies past and present. Zoe Bailoff is one hip chick. She works in a variety of media, um, very interdisciplinary artist out of New York and um, has actually produced some of the media used for productions of the Wooster Group, which is a detail that I'm sure many performance folks will be excited about. On her website, she says that she considers herself a sort of medium or an interface between the living and the dead, the real and the imaginary, and that she considers each of her projects um, to connect the present to the past so that they might better illuminate the future in new ways. Her website, Philosophical Toys, demonstrates the type of intersection that I'm interested in. She creates optical toys specifically for the web and then allows visitors to interact with them and then also read about the invention and the rest of the history of. On her site, she says that, like the philosophical toys themselves, these texts and images are designed to be playful and provoke thought. She says her site is a call to reinvest moving images with the marvelous and intends them as a sort of cry for a multiplicity of cinemas, past, present, and future. The site Early Visual Media was created by Thomas Weinitz out of Belgium. Um, who travels worldwide giving guest lectures on media archaeology and early popular media. He often writes for the journal Early Visual Culture. Um, his site provides information about optical toys, early photography, fairground art, early cinema, and also offers an extensive list of links um, on exhibitions and publications. It's just a massive amount of information for anyone interested in technologies past. This is actually my own website that I started building over the summer in a new media production course that I was in. And it was originally intended as a way to work on my show in a different performance setting but it ended up turning into a completely different project. Once I started working on it, um, I just really started playing. And the aesthetic that I was working with was reminiscent of a child's pop-up book. And so I scanned these magic lantern slides and then in JavaScript, I programmed a rollover. Unfortunately, I I'm not a master of iMovie, so I'm not really able to demonstrate that here. But if you go to the website, and I will give you the address to all of these websites at the very end, so you can take a look and you can interact with it yourself. On a different part of the website, I scan a glass negative and invert it in Photoshop so that I can do a rollover where you actually are able to see the negative and the positive. So you're able to see some photography in action. 
I really wanted to make the site interactive. And if I continue learning to code, um, I'd really like to do something besides roll over. But right now, um, that's really working for this site and the aesthetic that I was going for. And then this is one of the final images, one of the rollovers um, from the site. And this is actually taking a still from an experimental film. Thank you once again for tuning in to this installment of Critical Praxis, and thanks also to Benny for inviting me to contribute. Um, I hope that you do have a chance to take a look at the sites and explore them further. I didn't even scratch the surface of what's available. Also, if you know of any other sites, please email me. Um, I'll provide my email at the end here. So thank you, and uh, see you around.